Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that disassembling this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. If you need to replace the turntable motor, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread all of the screws, securing the bottom panel. Disconnect the LED light wire connector to fully release the panel. Disconnect the turntable motor wire connector. Now unthread the mounting screws to release the old motor. Install the new turntable motor by aligning the shaft so it inserts into the turntable coupler, then thread the mounting screws. Connect the motor wire connector. Reinstall the bottom panel by first connecting the LED light wire connector. Realign the panel and rethread the screws. To access components behind the control panel, open the door and unthread the two screws securing the front vent. You can use a putty knife to help pry off the vent. Next, unthread the screw securing the control assembly. With the screw unthreaded, lift the control assembly up to detach. Note the orientation of the wires connected to the control board, then disconnect them to fully remove the assembly. To replace a door switch or other switch holder component, first note the orientation of the wires connected to the door switches, then disconnect them. Unthread the two mounting screws securing the door switch holder to the frame. Lift the switch holder up and pull it free of the frame. You can now detach one or more switches from the holder. Once you've secured the switch or switches in the holder, you can reinstall the holder by inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame, then press down. Thread the mounting screws. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals on each switch. You can unthread the screw to release the access grill to reach the fuse and noise filter board. After replacing the fuse or filter board, realign the access grill and thread the screw.
Reinstall the control assembly by inserting the assembly tabs into the slots in the microwave oven frame. Then connect all of the control board wire connectors to the appropriate terminals. Align the assembly and push down. Thread the screw. Having a magnetized screwdriver will make this easier. With the front vent removed, you can lift the door assembly off of the hinges. To disassemble the door, Use a putty knife to help detach the inner door trim. Unthread the four screws securing the inner door assembly. You can use a large flathead screwdriver to help separate the inner door assembly from the outer door panel. With the inner door assembly removed, you can unthread the two mounting screws to release the handle. To reassemble the door, first align the handle on the outer door panel. Then thread the mounting screws to secure. Realign the inner door assembly and snap it into position. Rethread the screws. Align and snap the trim into place. Reinstall the door assembly by inserting the hinge pins into the holes in the hinges. Reinstall the front vent by aligning the top edge first, then press the bottom edge into place. Thread the two screws to secure. To access components inside the microwave oven cabinet, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. Before you do this, remove the glass turntable and support. Have an assistant support the microwave while you unthread the three mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off of the mounting plate. To remove the cabinet cover, set the appliance down on its rear panel on a sturdy surface covered by a towel or blanket. Unthread the screws securing the oven's bottom panel. Disconnect the LED light wire connector and fully remove the bottom panel. Now tip the appliance upright and prop up the front. Open the door and unthread the two screws securing the front vent.
remove the vent. Next, unthread all of the screws, securing the cabinet cover. Unthread the three screws securing the blower assembly cover. Slide the cover back to detach. You can now fully remove the cabinet cover to reach components like the capacitor, magnetron, and transformer. You should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor to avoid injury. You can do this by placing needle nose pliers with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. If you need to replace the magnetron thermostat, unthread the screw securing the thermostat mounting plate to the magnetron. Disconnect the wires. You will need to transfer the mounting plate from the old thermostat to the new one. Connect the wires to the terminals. Realign the mounting plate on the magnetron and thread the screw to secure. With the repair completed, reposition the cabinet cover. Rethread all of the screws. Slide the blower assembly cover into position and thread the screws to secure. Continue the reassembly by reinstalling the front vent. Tip the appliance back. Reinstall the bottom panel by first connecting the LED light wire connector. Realign the panel and rethread the screws. With the reassembly complete, reinstall the microwave by carefully hooking the back edge of the appliance on the mounting plate tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure it with the mounting bolts. Plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable support, then align the turntable on the coupler, and your microwave oven should be ready for use.